So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video. Today guys, I'm going to teach you how you can cheese and defeat Godfrey the first Elden Lord with ease. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so basically, the Godfrey first Elden Lord boss, I'm seeing quite a few people have trouble with. I've got guys a great cheese in method exploit some will say which will allow you to take him out no problem whatsoever now it will require a certain few said items but as soon as you get said items which I'll link all in the video description because I've made videos on them all anyway so yeah there's no reason why you shouldn't have any of these guys because yeah at the end of the game well let's hear so yes so those items are firstly we need our mimic our beautiful mimic tier summon Get this thing guys, level it up, make sure you do that as hard as you can and you're good to go. Okay, so weapons, realistically we only need a decent primary, doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's leveled up and you can apply an Ash of War to it. Because we want to put on it the Hoar Frost Stump. The Hoar Frost Stump allows us to do this people, boom, boom, and it does work to bosses especially this kind of boss it's on the floor so yes get this ash of war i'll link it in the video description if you haven't got it already and apply it to any high level weapon you have now you should have a high level weapon guys i mean what that's in that time i mean like end of the game people end of the game people there's no excuse why you shouldn't have all belt barbarians for the samba and smithing stones so you can buy as as many of them if you want but if you haven't i'll link the videos in the video description too where you can find everything people also, you want tank armor realistically just for your your mimic because obviously it mimics you. So the best armor you can put on uh, this armor. If you haven't got it and you're at this stage, you can't get it because it's in the capital. And obviously we know that's been destroyed. But any other decent armor will do. We've got the omen set. It works fine. We've got Radan set. Perfect. Just decent armor, people. Now, in regards to talismans, this is the main one you want. Does so that say Shibiri's Wall? I don't even know. Shibiri's Wall. We, we, we don't matter. We're going to call it the Wall. Constantly attracts enemies' aggression. So what we do with this is, guys, is we go into the fight. And then we summon our, our Mimic Tier. And then we run to the side and we take this off. And what it does is the boss will mainly concentrate on our Mimic. I mean, don't get it twisted. If you're close to the boss than the Mimic is, the boss will come for you. Uh, good you'll see actually in the clip uh, of me destroying the boss with this as soon as i take it off the boss is trained the boss has changed his direction and goes st straight towards my mimic which is pretty cool then guys i've just gone with um anything which were health wise but nothing really of significant importance here go with what you feel you've got which can help you or help your mimic simple as that and then guys that's basically it to be honest uh, we don't really need uh i've got a staff on but we don't really need a staff it's, it's not really needed all we're doing is just stomping the boss and with you stomping the boss and your mimic stomping the boss simple as that people it's not hard whatsoever so you'll see on screen now i'll run you through exactly what i do so yeah yeah my pre-recorded clip guys of destroying the boss and you'll see actually at the start I just don't even know what talismans to go with i know that's a must but you always I'm like, mm, what do I, do I just change at the last second? Uh, I don't know. What do I do? What do I go with? And that's what I mean. For me, I try and keep my guides simple so most people can follow them and not every or all the best items in the game are required. But yeah, let me just summon our Mimic guys and you'll see that I run to the right hand side. Watch it. Now watch this. Look at the bus. Okay, it clocks me. Watch. You ready for this? Boom, as soon as I turn it off, he changes to my Mimic. He's like, yep, Mimic, I'm coming for you. And then people, all you do is you literally stump, 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 stump. It's that easy. It is that easy. Like, it's, it's just concentrating on, on the Mimic. He don't care about you. So yes, when it gets down to half health, you're going to phase two. Again, guys, run backwards. Just show it like he just goes back to your mimic. Now, he get, he's got a few like air of attack effects here. Um, I think, I could, what do I put on here? 
I don't even know what I quickly put on. Actually, what I do is I pull it on and take it off just in case, but I don't think you need to do that whatsoever. I think it's still registered that he's actually um, got it on. Now, see, I use that and fail. That's the only time I ever use uh, FP points besides my stump, which is taking it. Like I said, I didn't even use my stuff. And then from here, guys, we just stump again. Stump, stump, stump. Yeah, that's one of the area of effect attacks, but it doesn't do much damage to you. Just stump away. Keep stumping, keep stumping. Simple as that, people. Simple. <laughs> it is really that simple. That The Horthos stump is such a crazy, crazy thing you can use in the Ash of War. And yes, guys, that is how you beat. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. No, I'm not doing it to myself. But there we have it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like quite you see and want to see more out of the ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.